Hello guys, this is Johnny back with another video. Today's subject is how to install Bootstrap theme in your existing Code Igniter project. Let's navigate first to grousericrab.com. Click to the Themes button and then to the Live Demo button in order to play around by your own before buying the Bootstrap theme. As you can see, Bootstrap theme is not only a better looking theme for Grocery Crab, but it also contains some cool new features that other themes doesn't have, such as multiple search functionality, multiple delete functionality, it is tablet and mobile compatible, And it has many other parts that you can play around and see by your own with the demo, such as full screen, better buttons, customized bootstrap theme colors, and many more. Have in mind that bootstrap theme is actively developed, so new functionality may be introduced. So if you play around, you can see some new functionalities straight away. Okay, great. Now that we know what the Bootstrap theme for Grocery Crab contains, let's start off how we can install it to our project. First of all, make sure that you've already installed Cloud Igniter and Grocery Crab to your project. If you don't know how to do it, then click to the link appearing above now. If you are still with me, that means that you already know how to install Grocery Crab and Code Igniter, and you already have an existing project. As you can see now at my screen, I have pre-installed Grouser Crowd and Code Igniter to my computer. Let's navigate quickly to see how an already installed version of Grouser Crowd without Bootstrap theme looks like. Okay, now let's go step by step from the purchase of the Bootstrap theme to its installation to your computer. Go to grousergrad.com then click Themes and then you will be at the landing page that you can see. Usually the purchase button is at the bottom here but you can also see that while you are scrolling at the top corner uh, there is a button purchase now. So let's go and click this button to see what will happen. So now I'm waiting to redirect me to a PayPal page and you can simply add your username and password if you already have a PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, don't worry, because you can still buy the put something. You have to add all your details uh, that PayPal needs and you can buy the bootstrap thing. The most of the countries is supported. So let's say that we already finished with all the instructions that PayPal gave us and that we already bought uh, Bootstrap thing. Usually you will get an email with your invoice and once this is done, then uh, you can check your email and you will get uh, something like uh, this. wait for it and there you go so the final email will look something like this have in mind that it can take uh, up to even uh, sometimes two or three hours to get the email so please be patient if you didn't get the email you will get it soon and also you can always check the spam folder to see if the email is there so let's go back to the inbox to check our email. It typically is saying, congrats, your bootstrap theme has arrived. You can download straight away uh, the theme through that link, or you can actually log in to a, a user page. And even if you didn't get the email, you can still do the steps that I will describe now. 
So you are opening the link. I will point the link below, and you are pressing the forgot password uh, link. So pressing the the button to get the reset password to your email. A password reset has been emailed to you. And typically you are following the instruction, resetting the password with a strong password. And there you are. You have uh, access to the Grocery Recruit user page and you can download the latest uh, Bootstrap theme version. And you can also get uh, the history of the revisions. So now let's download the latest Bootstrap theme version to our computer and close all the unnecessary windows except the one that we have uh, installed the already existing grocery crap and as you can see we've already downloaded the bootstrap theme so it's a zip uh, is a zip file so we are just opening the zip file and there you can see that there is an assets folder inside the assets folder grocery crap one then the themes then at the themes you can see uh, this one new theme that is the bootstrap theme. Uh, so currently we are going to our project. So I have a project named demo and you can see the same structure. So we have the assets. Under the assets we have a grocery crowd. Under that we have the themes and you can see that we already have the data tables and FlexiGrid and we are just dragging it up to the themes folder. So now we are uh, actually having pretty much uh, installed the Bootstrap theme. As you can see by your own, it's pretty easy to install Bootstrap theme. Uh, but now let's go and activate. Uh, I have a, my editor here and I have opened the demo. So there are two ways in order to enable the Bootstrap theme. The first way is to go to application config, then grocery craft and then from there you can change the default theme to be the bootstrap theme. So now your project has as a default theme the bootstrap theme and it's uh, that easy. You don't need to do anything else, nothing more special than that. So we can also see that here is the FlexiGrid, the default theme. And now that we've changed, after the refresh, we can see the Bootstrap theme installed. So there it is. All the functionality is there. So you can see the multiple search is working. Uh, everything is just working. Now the second way in order to install the Bootstrap theme is if you don't want to have default by default the Bootstrap theme, uh, you can easily add it only for one section. So let's go step by step to do that. So here uh, the default theme is the FlexiGrid as it was before. And as you can see if we refresh again the page, you can see the old template. And if we go to our basic controller, to our function, we can uh, simply enable the theme by adding CRUD set theme and add the name of the theme that our current is Bootstrap. So as you can see, now everything uh, is working as expected and uh, if you go to other pages you can see that they are still working with the old theme uh, or anything that you are choosing. Uh, that's it really, let's see some functionality working. And this is pretty much it. So you can see everything is working out of the box, calendars, uh, booleans, you can see the drop-down lists, the multiple 
relation functionality, everything is just working and it is as easy at it, as it seems. Of course, if you have any questions, uh, you can just send me an email and I will answer it as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, click the like button if you if you did like the kind of videos that I'm making in order to make more and be more enthusiastic. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you guys at the next one. Bye.